Hi team, this is Dr. Stephanie Burgos and I am the team leader of Team Healthier You Project. And I wanted to talk with you guys about how to start a business page and a couple tips uh, that I have kind of figured out uh, this past year while running a business page. So it's January 2015, Happy New Year, and I wanted to get right to it and show you how you're going to go ahead and start. So what you'll do is you'll log into your into your Facebook page and as you'll see over here you will kinda come down to where it says pages over here in the corner and so what you'll do is you'll go to create a page click on create a page and so what I suggest um, you can either be a you know kind of like a community but I actually have suggested that most people choose public figure and so what you'll do is you'll click on public figure You'll choose your category, again, public figure, and you'll give yourself a name. So I'm going to make a name for, this is my father. And so what we'll do is we'll press get started. So when it comes to choosing a name for your, for your business page, I do suggest using your own name. Remember, you know, as Beachbody coaches, we are in a business of building relationships and our biggest asset of in which that which makes us different from other coaches is us. It's basically our unique personalities, it's our unique lives. And so what you really want, remember, you're not branding Beachbody, you really need to focus on branding yourself, who you are. And so, you know, one way to start doing that is with your business page. And so you can have it be your name. You can have it be, you know, like if this was my dad, he could say Victor Burgos, Fit Dad. You know, so obviously you want to choose something that represents you. Um, and so I would definitely suggest starting with your name. And so here when you're setting it up, it may tell you to tell people about your page. So this is my dad who's really not on that big on Facebook, but he is basically um, this page, let's say this page is for support and health tips, let's say. You could put whatever you want. You don't have to, you could skip it obviously here. So we'll save the info. And then you're going to choose a photo, and so you'll upload it or import from website. Um, if you wanted to upload, you know, you would upload it here. So I'm going to skip it for right now. And then what you want to do is you're going to add it to your favorites. I would say yes, add to my favorites, so that I can. So what will happen is that the way that it's at the when you go onto your onto Facebook, you'll see it on the top left corner under your news feed, under the messages, under the events, and it'll be right there underneath. And then you're going to press next. And then it's going to say, would you like to, you know, promote your page with an ad to get more people to like it? Now, this is a whole other tutorial that needs to be run. I do not suggest running an ad from this part of the of the setup process. Again, because running ads is definitely a good way to build your business, but it's definitely something that you need to research and you need to have a better understanding of um, because I do not want you wasting your money. And it definitely takes a little bit of a learning curve. So definitely reach up to reach out to your upline coach regarding uh, ads. And so we're going to skip this right now. And so basically you'll come to this. And so this is, and so as soon as you start your page, it's going to, you're going to skip through all these. It's saying, okay, here's your page. Here's your activity. Here's your settings. So you'll press next. It'll ask you, you know, do you want to like your page? Sure. Of course. Why don't you be your own first supporter? And then the most important thing is that it's showing you over here that your business page is going to have its own set of messages, it's gonna have its own message box, it's gonna have its own you know, set of notifications, and it's also gonna let you know how many page likes you've had for the week. So we'll press like. And then it's asking if you wanna suggest the page to email contacts, if you had an email listserv, so you press next. And that's how you set up your page. So a couple things, what you wanna do is you wanna start inviting people. And so you can, over here, it'll start having all your friends, so you'll just click invite, 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 invite. And then you can also add friends, like if I, you know, if I put myself here, it's going to invite. And so this invitation was sent, and then this person will get an invite to their page. And I think actually it'll be over here. Actually, actually no, it's not. Um, and so that's that. 
What I do want to show you now, so this is when you first start. And so what you'll do is you'll make sure you have a cover photo, you'll add a cover, you'll add you'll add a profile photo here and then you'll add a cover photo by clicking on here. So you click on this and you'll upload your photo. And so that's how you do that. And also what I wanted to show you is I'm going to go to my page to show you just to give you an idea because now that we're once you start creating post um, so one thing I will say, so you see how, like I said, my, so right here is where my new, my dad's page is. What I would suggest to you before you start having people come over to your page, just pepper it with some posts, you know, put pictures of yourself, put pictures, you know, quotes that you have, workout posts, any type of posts that you may have that you may want, you know, just make sure you put them, you put them here. Um, sorry. And then next thing you'll do is you will, I wanted to just quickly, sorry, I'm just losing my train of thought. Um, going to pages here. So here's my page. So once you start actually having a, you know, once you start posting things and, and whatnot, this, you know, your page can give you a lot of information. So if you notice over here, um, when you first start, you're not going to have this insights tab, but once you start having followers and once you start um, getting your audience engaged, you're going to have an insights section. So you'll see over here, for example, it's telling me I have three messages, I have 33 notifications on my page, I have 358 page likes from this week. And so what you'll do is, you know, one thing that I want to show you is the insights. This is really cool because this is how you get to know your audience and get to know kind of like what your audience likes. And so a couple things, you have your overview here. It tells you, okay, I had, you know, 12,000 total page likes. I have new 358 page likes in this past week. It's showing you the data. It's also showing you the engagement. My engagement is up this week, so that's really good. But what I really like is that you can come over here to post. And this kind of tells you, wow, look at this, you know, in, in the past week, this kind of tells you in terms of times when your audience is mostly on. So it looks like, you know, obviously it looks like my audience is very, you know, very little of them are on at 5 a.m. So if you kind of see here, like at noon, starting at noon is when my audience really starts coming on up until, t you know, 10 p.m. So obviously if I wanted to, let's say, I can use this information because if I had an ad or let's say I wanted to post a before after picture with a call to action that was saying, you know, hey guys, you know, I have, you know, look at these amazing results. I can't believe the 21 day fix is, on, is at such a great value. If you're interested, please leave your email below. You know, you can do that on your business page and if I chose to do that, I would definitely choose a time in this frame in this time frame because that's when my audience is typically there. Another good thing is that sorry, another good thing is that it tells you when your it tells you which ones of your posting which posts are getting a lot of reach and engagement. And so you can do this to kind of again get to know your audience because you can say, "Oh wow, you know, this, you know, this had 1.1, 1 .1, you know, organic in terms of reach. It reached, you know, 1.1 1 .1 people and some and there was some engagement with that." And so th these are all good things to kind of know because you'll know which posts do really well and which posts don't. And then you can use that data to then say, okay, my audience likes motivational quotes. So I'm going to continue posting motivational quotes. Or, you know, I know that whenever I tend to do a video of some sort, that tends to be the most engagement too. Like right here, I have, there was a reach of 761 people when I made a video of me dancing. And so I know that people like to see videos. So that's also more, you know, more information. Another cool thing is that if you come up here and you go to people, it tells you a little bit about the demographics. And so it's over here telling me that the majority of my followers are, you know, women between the ages of 25 and 34. It breaks it down into what major cities that they're mostly from. So it definitely gives you a lot of information and it's definitely you know, a lot of information to kind of take in. And so one more thing that I wanted to show you, let me see if it'll allow me to do this, um, is, let's see, it'll pop up hopefully. 
Okay, so what I wanted to show you, okay, let's see. I am going to show you now how you can use your phone and how you can use it to like work with your business page. So as like for myself, I use Instagram and Facebook as my two social media platforms. So first of all, there is a specific app for your for Facebook pages and so this is the app right here so you'll want to download that and this will be good because you can then kind of go in there and you'll be able to kind of look at your page you know if you kind of click up here if you have other pages you'll be able to find them and you can create pages from this side as well um, so if I click on that and what you can do is down here you can also look at your insights um, so when I click on that down here, it tells you your insights. And again, some of the data that I got from my business page on the actual computer, you can see on your, uh, on your app. Obviously it's limited because it is on the phone, but it's definitely something that you want to have. Um, one more thing too, actually there's a couple more things. Sorry that I keep kind of being all over the place, but when you look, one good thing about having a business page is that you can schedule your post directly. So for example, if I you know, had a post here, let's say I say hello world, and I wanted to schedule this you know, for tomorrow, I can schedule this post and let it know that I want it to go tomorrow at 10 o'clock at night. And then I would press schedule. And then, so that's something that's really cool. You can schedule, my understanding is you can schedule at, at least up to 30 days in advance as many times as you want. Same thing, you know, kind of with the app. Again, if I kind of click back over here and if I go to the main screen again and let's say I decided I wanted to post, you post by clicking here. If I were to post and I made a text, let's say, and I said, hello world. Um, if I were to come to, I believe it's, maybe it's this one, let's see. Yeah, so basically what I did was I went to this these little triple three dots over here you click on that and you can obviously look you can see that you can schedule the post and it asks you when you want to schedule it and you can schedule it that way so that's definitely an option I'm gonna cancel this out definitely an option yes delete that you have another thing I want to show you if you're a huge Instagram user like I am is that you can push you know your your um, at your post from Instagram directly into your business page. So let's say you want to, um, let's say that you want to connect. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click up here to your uh, settings and you want to scroll down to where it says share, share settings. You'll click on that and then you'll click on Facebook and once you, and then you'll click share to again and then once you have your business page, it's going to give you the option of if where you want to send your push, you know, when you want to when you want to push your post to Facebook, which page you want it to post to. So I have it set to my business page. So then once you set that, you know, you then kind of go back up here to this arrow, scroll back to the left, keep scrolling back. So now, you know, as you keep scrolling back, when it's time for you to let's say have an ad, like you want to take one of your posts, let's say you know, I'll take this post right here of Shakeology. You know, I'll go on Shakeology, and if I scroll down these little three dots over here, you click on that, and you can click on Share, and then you can click over here to Facebook, and then once that's highlighted, you click Share again, and that's going to let Facebook know that you want it. See, and it says Sharing Succeeded. So then what you can do is if you come over here to my page, and you just, and let's say I refresh this, you're gonna see that my, doo -doo -doo, my, see, there's my post on my business page that I just shared. And so, you know, kind of the same idea, if you're making a post, you know, let's say I post this really quickly. If I, I go to next, you know, next, let's say, same thing over here, what you'll do is, is, is that you'll click it here when you're ready to share and you can post it directly to your business page. So what I tend to do is I tend to focus mostly on using, you know, post, making sure that I post on, on my Instagram page and then I just kind of push it over to my business page. So hopefully, I know this was kind of long, but there's a lot to kind of, you know, learn and I know I didn't go over everything, but I hope that you found this helpful. 
Um, and I'll continue to share, you know, any continued tutorials or anything that I have. All right, guys, have an awesome day. Bye.